I know that many of you are interested in Tumo, which is the inner fire practice, uh, which is a, a meditative practice predominantly. Uh, but you know what really helps stoke fire? Wint. Hi, I'm Farah of Tibetan Healing Movement. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the practice of Tsa Lung. Tsa Lung is a traditional Tibetan Buddhist practice, and it's basically a combination of breath retention with very specific targeted movements. So we need to talk about wind. Tsa means channels and Lung means wind. Now wind is breath, yes, on one level, but it's also wind energy. So this wind energy is what's flowing in the channels of our body. Um, or maybe it isn't, because that's the thing, is that these channels, uh, which are like waterways, um, pathways in the body that the wind is flowing in, they get blocked. And um, they get blocked through wrong movement, wrong behavior, negative emotions, aging, whatever, they get blocked all the time. Uh, so when they're blocked, then the wind is obstructed. Your energy is obstructed. So the first thing that we need to do is focus on opening these blockages, on opening the channels. And then once we've opened the channels, now the wind can start to flow. Okay, so now when the wind is flowing, that's when the fire is stoked, right? You blow wind on the fire. So that's why Tsa Lung is actually well known as a friend and accelerator of Tumo. Because if you go straight to the, the Tumo visualizations, you're, you're gonna have some obstacles in the body. So you're gonna have smoother progress if you've properly prepared the body. Uh, and so Tsa Lung is, is a beautiful way to do that. So first, we're training the breath. And this is, I think most people, the, the people who reach out to me and the, the, the burbling that I hear these days about Tumo, uh, I think most people are actually looking more for Tsa Lung. Uh, because there's a lot of talk about breath work. And if you want breath work, breath work is great. I love it. This is like my favorite. Um, but it's not Tumo, it's Tsa Lung. So it's the Tsa Lung practice where we really start to train our breath. And we're doing breath retention. And there's a very specific way to do the breath retention. There's four different steps. And we're retaining on the inside, on the inhale. Okay, um, and this is important because remember the point is to release blockages in the channels. So first we get really comfortable with using our breath, holding our breath, um, and retaining it for longer periods of time. But then we want to combine this with very targeted movements. They're special movements. Um, they're movements that are, they're twisting and applying pressure and squeezing uh, the body in different ways. And the, these are very specific points that are being targeted. Uh, so they're actually um, called essence points. So here, like, okay, in the, we're working intensively with the subtle body, right? And the subtle body is three things. It's channels, wind, and essence. So Tsa Lung means channels wind, but it's also very much working with essence. So there's specific points on the body that are really connected to our essence and the production of essence and places that get really blocked. So these movements are really targeting these places. So when our channels are full with this wind energy or breath, um, then we can like get into those spots and really squeeze and twist and um, release those blockages. So this is the Tsa Lung practice. Um, there's a lot more to say, I mean, about all of those things, um, particularly essence, which I know I just glossed over and I do a lot because I'm 
there's just going to be, it needs to be its own video. Um, but yeah, so the practice itself, I've learned several different Salung practices. I am trained by my teacher, Tulkulopsang Rinpoche, to teach these practices. And the, the big one uh, is the Kala Chakra Salung. So this is actually a series of 20 movements, 10 done seated, 10 done standing. Um, but before you even get there, you need to do some preliminary things. We need to take care of our motivation. We need to take care of our heart. We need to um, train the channels and the breath retention. And um, it's, it's all great fun. And it's, it's really powerful. And there's um, a lot of beauty in all of that. And then when you've done that, then this is what's going to accelerate your tumo practice. Because if you have all these blocks, then, you know, you're hitting blocks. <laughs> so um, I think that is all I'm going to say in this video. So Zalung, our channel's wind practice, is going to be the one that's really your friend in getting your energy flowing really smoothly. And of course, this is all connected with the mind as well. There's a deep connection between the breath and the mind. And when we learn to hold the breath well, we actually reach this really calm, clear place because uh, we're also holding our thoughts and the movement of the mind. So um, yes, I'm going to be teaching another round of Zalung soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I look forward to sharing more with you. So you can learn at TibetanHealingMovement.com when I release that or get on my email list if you want to be informed. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, for your time and attention, most valuable resource. I hope you found some benefit.